So first thing you want to do is you want to fold the paper in half. Let me just get that done. It's very important to be like precise with the first creases though. After that you want to flip the paper over and fold to the center a book fold, but just pinch the edges here. So just pinch that edge right here. And same thing with this side. And then you can repeat on this side. And same thing over here. I'm just going to mark these with a pen so that you're easier to see. So then you have these four. And what you're going to want to do from there is you're going to want to bring the top to the bottom. And you're just going to want to pinch these again. So I have the two pinches right here in the middle, so I'm going to mark those with pen. Same thing with these, you're going to fold them to the center. Let me just fix the paper there. Pinches. I, I would use like a nail or a bone creaser though, because you're going to like really need to see the creases later to create the other creases that come into the center. It'll just be easier and it won't really affect the model in the end anyway. As you can see, do I have it up here yeah, right here? This, it didn't really affect it at all. I've been messed up a few times in the pre-creasing here, but... And we're going to repeat by folding everything in half this way and just pinching again. Second pinch here. Pinch there. And there. And that's all for these sides. You don't need to pinch these top two because they're not going to really be used at all. Th but you do have to flip it over and do all four along here and all four along that side. Gonna try and get this done fast. And let me just go back with pen real quick. I'm not going to mark this center crease here because I'm pretty sure we don't need it until later in the model. So then you have uh, all four on each side except for these, these two on the tops. What you're going to want to do from here is it's going to be um from this to this. So you're going to fold this bottom first like square or fourth, I think, eighth up to this fourth right here and just align this onto there. 
and just pinch again, but make sure it doesn't slide, because these really ha are important for the rest of the model. And then just mark this. And same thing on this side, so again, we're going to bring this bottom one up to the top one, the first bottom here, up to here, align it there, and just pinch. Alright, now, this one's a bit different, but pretty much the same concept, is you're going to take this top right here, you're going to bring it down to the second one, and then, but you're not going to be creasing this side here, you're going to end up creasing this top, which is a bit more difficult, but My video is freezing a little bit, so I'm just going to pause it right here for a second and cut back to me continuing this. Alright, sorry about that. I'm just going to repeat the last step because it was kind of glitching out. I just watched over the video real quick of what I had, and it was kind of bothering me. So, I don't know, like it's very clear either, so let me just get back on track. You're going to fold this here down to this crease, but you, what you're going to want to do is crease this here, up top, not, not the bottom, but up top here, so then you get a crease that, like, coming downwards towards the middle, and it's pretty much right there, and same thing on this side, so what did I, I just did this one, so I want to take this one here and bring it to this. Or hold it in the center there while I crease this up here. When I open this back up, I have that right there, and the same on each side. After that, let me just take a look at the instructions real quick. I'm going to fold this, this crease here, the top one, to this crease here, and pinching at the bottom of the paper, down here. Let me just, here, I'll just do that again on the other side, just to make it clear, so I did this one here, yeah, this one, so it's going to be this one to here, so this crease to here, up to the very edge, just make that the best that you can, just crease at the bottom here, mark that with a pen, Now what I want to do is I want to take this crease here and fold it to this crease down here. So I'm bringing this, the first one from the center down to the, the bottom one here. And let me just, and you're going to crease on the bottom corner here, just pinching this line right down there open that back up, so it was from here, no, not here, sorry, here, to there, I just had them mixed up for a second, and same thing on this side, so it's from here, to here, these two creases now. This is 
a little bit more general, but I'm going to be decreasing from the not the line that we made, but the um the eight, one of the eighths. So this eighth right here to the center. Oh, all right. I guess we did need the center. My bad. Sitting on the beginning. So make sure not to crease to this line that like goes up like this, but to the one that's like straight across. And you're not going to crease this, but you're going to crease it right down, like only in the middle. Not on the edges, so right here. So we have this crease here. Oh, this is lagging up again. You know, let me just restart my computer real quick. Just close this. Wait, what is this? Alright, sorry about that. I just have to do a quick restart. But back to where we were is this, not the one that we made like diagonally, but like the across here. We're going to fold from that right there to the bottom center, the center crease. And then are just going to crease in the center. A sharp crease though, because it'll make it easier later. And draw a nice line through it. Alright. So there we have that. These two creases. And then what we're going to do is from this top point to here, we're going to crease through this, through this line we just made in the center here. So let me just do it real quick and then I can talk a little bit more about it. So I'm going to pinch along here and then I'm going to swivel fold it up or down to here and crease a line right through this one, so right there. So again, from this middle point to this last point down here. Then we have this X right here. And the same thing on this side. So again, pinch right here, swivel it to that point right there. You can like crease it out a little bit, but just don't make a sharp crease and then just Get that X right there. So I have these two X's here. After that, <laughs> we're going to fold from, there you go, let's actually go from this point up here to this point right here, which is the um, one of the eighths the first eighth from the center and then from the top here down to right along that and let me just check if we're going to crease in the top or the bottom we're going to be creasing on the top so let me just and make a nice pinch up top this corner here and it should lie just underneath the corner And that was from here, from this point here, to there. So the same thing on this side, from here to here. I'm just trying to keep glancing up at the camera, just to make sure it's not like glitching out, because I don't, I don't know why it's doing that. It's never done it before. And then pinch this corner here, and you have the same thing on this side. So now we have these two creases here and here, and what you're going to want to do with them is nothing actually let me just continue step that was 12 this is 13 so what are we going to do it's going to be from the middle 
the middle crease here. I believe. Yeah, so the middle line to this first eighth down here. Opposite side of the center though, so from here to there. And this is gonna go on the bottom to the top. The top again, so just mark it a little bit up here. So we have this. And and again, it's from from this middle middle crease right here to this side of it down here. Giving us that crease right there. So same thing over here, middle to this. So just make sure I don't mess up the crease. And then on top of the paper, we're going to end up doing it. So then, where was that crease? Right here. And right here. And these aren't going to be even from where the center would be. They're going to be off a bit. Fold 14 is going to be from here down to this line. And you're going to crease it along the center. So we have to go up. I have to move it up into the camera angle for that too. So let me just tilt to the side. So again, from here, we're going to crease this a little bit and swivel fold it down. Let me just make sure it's going to be one, two. Yes, yeah, so the second second uh, one up, so a fourth of this. So I swivel it down to a fourth. Just make sure that's on the corner. Down to a fourth, that looks pretty good. And I want to crease in the middle. Just a nice long crease because I'm not entirely sure where this is going to lie. And then from the center, to there and these lines here and here won't line up so don't think you can just like go over there and have them be the same it's not like folding into the gritting the paper into triangles so then we have here and here these lines and then what we're going to want to do from there is fold from this point here. So the second one in, or the middle of one fourth in, yeah. Two, let me just make sure that, yeah, to the three fourths in. So it's not these bottom lines, the line above it. Let me just make sure I'm doing this right because I really don't want to mess this up and have you try it. So from here, this point here, so it's going to be one, two over, second one over, down to one, two, three, the third one up, but not the third like a uh, crease, the third um, fourth up, or yeah, third, fourth up, eighth up, I don't know, this one here. And you're going to want to crease along the middle, creating another X right here. But you want to make sure that it's from here. Let me just do this one more time to just clarify it. And it's going to be this line above it here. So not this one. Let me zoom in if I can. I can zoom in a little bit. So not the diagonal, but the straight line. So from there to the straight line. And the same thing over here. Creasing it in the middle. Just um to make an X along here and here. So now we have four X's on the paper. Let me unzoom so 
I don't accidentally do something outside of the camera view. Step 15. Fifteen isn't really relevant because you don't need it. It's just the measurements. If you didn't want to do all this pre creasing. So step sixteen is kinda where the diagram isn't entirely clear and I just had to go go off of what I like thought. So you're gonna start by creasing from the diagonal crease here, not the fourth, to this crease up here. So let me just crease it and then come back and show you what I mean by that. And this is going to be like the starting of the actual creasing of the base. So we are going to crease all the way through. I'm not going to start drawing these lines because that would just take a lot longer. I'll just do it a little bit. I'm not going to do it like really nicely. So we have from this bottom crease here. So if I go in from the bottom one here, not the fourth. And then same thing over here, so from this bottom crease here, the one that's like kind of diagonal, not straight. To this crease here. And uh, where they intersect right here, it should lie directly on this center line. And it's going to be just, just under the, like, the actual center of the paper. If you did have like diagonals in your sheet already or something like that. Just for another reference. Now what you're going to want to do is, how I like to do it, is I like to hold this right here and bring the corner up to, up to the, like, where these two lines cross. And you're going to want to fold up to there. And I'll, let me just crease it and then show you what I mean by that. So you're going to want to go from the center here to this first line up here. And making making a good sharp crease. So again, like this. And same thing over here. So from the center, let me do it like I did it because I feel like it comes out nicer in the end. To there, crease it. It's also going to be halfway in between this line and this line. I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check before I tell you something that's not right. Yeah, it is. It's going to be halfway in between those two. So now we have these lines, these lines, and these lines. And these are the most important ones, these four that we just made. Um, and then we're going to go from here down to this crease here. So again, I'm going to pop this up, mark it in the center, fold, let me flip this over, it's going to be a bit awkward for me, but it'll be easier for you guys to see is what I'm doing. So we have there to there.
and same thing over here. It's lagging up a little bit here. Just gonna wait for it to recover. Camera, are you good? All right, I think we're good. If you don't understand any step, just let me know and I'll try and help in the comments or I'll just make a short unlisted video and I'll PM it to you on like more in depth of each step. I'm not going to like refold the whole thing for you, but you know. All right, now you're going to fold from this X up to this point right there. So it's going to be like from here to here. So I got the X up to up to there. I think this webcam might need like an update, or maybe my computer is like overheating or something like that, because it's really freezing out. Let me just check control task manager here real quick. Oh, that no, that's fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Alright. I'm, I'm actually just going to cut the video here, and then I'm going to come back in a second just so I can go eat, get a drink. Alright, so back. Um, We're going to do the same thing on this side. So from this X here up to this crease here which is the one that goes from here to the center. So what you're essentially doing is you're making triangles right here. Let me just get these in a little bit just so you can see them better. Those two, and I also did these. You can hear that, it's just my hand rubbing this time. And one more. Actually, two more. And there we go. Um, what you're going to want to do now is fold from here to there. So it's going to be um, the crease that's on the edge here. So it's like that. So from this X here up to there. Get a nice crease through there. You can draw that in real quick. Pen is running out of ink, but I don't have another one. Oh, actually, yeah, I do. There we go. And from here, this X to there. Let 
This is the third pen I've been using for, for this. First one exploded, the second one ran out of ink. The third one's just really cheesy. And then from here, this X to where this line intersects at the edge. I'm going to flip it over for this. correct spot on the edge. And then we have this crease just up to the X, so right like that. Same thing on this side. This is the first one that I'm actually talking in, so maybe there'll be more if this one comes out nice. This tutorial. Uh, from this X down here to where this crease meets up with the edge. So it's almost already there, but And then from here, this X down to this arrow. Let me write this up first. So this isn't going to be like a s perfectly straight line like that. This will be a little bit down. Just because um, the first one was up to the, the third, um, the fourth up. And then um, this one here is actually going to be down to this diagonal crease that's creasing along here. And then from this X here, the center of the X, down to this crease, where this meets up with the edge. And same thing on this side. So I'm just going to swivel that down a little bit so it meets up with the one that's just a little bit lower. And then this one is going to be a totally new crease down to there. And that gives us this right here. And this right here. So now we have these two angles right here, and what you're going to want to do from there is you're going to want to go from the center here down to this crease right here, which is like the first one up from the bottom on the edge. Not the bottom, but there we go. And it's, it's pretty much already there because you're just recreasing it up higher. Same thing over here. So then we have these two. From there, I just want to flip the paper over. And I don't know if you can see this very well. I'm actually going to end up doing it on this side just so you can see it better. But from right this step, you're going to wind up flipping it over and reversing, like having these all reverse the next steps. It'll just be easier to collapse in the end. But um, now what you want to do is you want to fold this like this. And you're going to fold this line here to this crease here, like creating a center crease down to about here. It's kind of a pain because you don't want to make extra creases, but going to get a little bit wrinkled. Don't want to rip the paper here. Careful about this edge here. Okay. 
and same thing from here, but this one's a bit easier because I can just crease along here. This crease will already be a mountain fold for you guys because it'll be on the other side, but it's just easier for you to see like this. And these creases are going to go until they meet, so it's going to be down like this and down like that. So then we have that, and we're going to repeat it here. down to here. So now I have the these divided in half and we're pretty much going to want to do the same thing between here and here. I'm actually going to go like this though and fold it to this crease here. Oh, let me let me restate that cuz I think it just froze a little bit there. We're going to fold from this line here up to this line here, creating it in half to be right about there. So like that. Sharp crease along there. And then same thing on this this side so from here to here creating pretty much the same thing but it's a bit wider because these aren't skinning a little bit there and let me just quickly run through this last one here. And same thing here. I'm going to make sure these are connected. I might have to go in. No, it looks like we're good. So now we have these like that, but they should be like folded like this from the opposite side, not from the same side as we did all the original creases. And then from here, oh, it's frozen. All right, I think we're good. So it's gonna be from here I really don't want to have to remake this because it's glitchy. From here to here. Just folding this little edge up. Like that. Same thing over here. If you do have the... Um, the diagram is this part right here should just be pretty straightforward and same thing up here just make sure these are pretty exact because they don't look that nice if they're sticking out of that model at the end So let me just flip this over back to the original size and we're going to fold it in down like the middle between these. So right down along the center, line it up with the crease up here. It shouldn't be like exactly the same. Line these edges up, make a sharp crease down here. So then we have the middle creases here. Oh, that was a bad line right there. 
they're drawn on, but just to kind of like pretend it's straight. And we have that, like that. Now, this part, <laughs> let me just quickly, what we want to do is we want to crease from here to the center. So just folding this in entire thing pretty much in half. Not pretty much, exactly in half. So we get a line right there. And the same thing with this one. Now this is why um, you're going to want to use nicer paper than I am right now. Because this point right here is actually the tip of the scorpion, and if it tears, it does not look good. And same thing with these bigger ones, the bottom. But yeah, the center is starting to like get ripped a little bit for me, so. I'm probably not going to end up using this to make a model. I'm just going to do this tutorial on the pre-creasing. So then we have this too. And that. Now this part is kind of a pain is I'm going to flip the whole model around. So these, the longer ones up here on the top, and now I'm going to collapse this. And what we're going to do is we're going to crease right through this corner, bring this down, so that's mountain, valley, mountain, valley, I'll go back through this in a second after I get this because I actually had trouble with collapsing this correctly. And then down, creasing all the way through that. Bring this to the center. Do the same thing over here. I got it. So let me just undo this real quick. So what we're going to want, you're going to keep this flat. So we have the big triangle down here. And you're going to want to start from the top here. You're going to go mountain, valley, this one. So you have a mountain here. Valley, mountain, valley, mountain. And then this, this valley right here, the second one from the bottom, you're going to start by folding this line. See, the line that we made from this point here in the center where these two collapse to there, to the center, you're going to want to crease this all the way through. And same thing over here. And, but after you have this side, let me do it from this way. Actually, um, yeah, like this. So you want to bring these all down like this. And once you have it like this, you want to bring this whole side, this is the center, you want to bring this over. And then just repeat it on the same other side, bringing it down to a cone shape like this, and there you go, you have the base of the, or well not the full base, but like the, I guess the hard part of the model, that's pretty much the hardest part, besides like sinking a few times later in the model. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please subscribe for more. And if you ever need like help on a step or something like that, just like uh, PM me maybe, and I'll try and help if I have the diagrams or something like that.